welcome to Sparkle Stories Time. Today I'll be reading ABCs of Science by Chris Ferry. A is for amoeba. An amoeba is a kind of cell that can change its shape. Amoebas change their shape to move and eat. The white blood cells in your body move like amoebas to protect your body from infection. B is for bond. A bond is an attraction between atoms. The bonds in this illustration happen because each of the hydrogen atoms share an electron with the oxygen atom. These bonds create the water molecule H2O. C is for conductor. A conductor allows electrical energy to flow. This happens when the electrons are free to move around. The opposite of a conductor is an insulator. D is for Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in how moving things sound. This is what happens when you hear an ambulance pass. It sounds one way when it's coming towards you and it sounds different when it passes. This is because when a noisy thing moves, the sound waves around it are pushed together in front of it and stretched apart behind it. E is for electron. Electrons are particles that have one unit of negative charge. Electrons orbit nuclei to make atoms. They are very important because they play a part in almost all of nature. F is for fulcrum. A fulcrum is the point at which a lever pivots. A lever is a simple machine that makes work easier. In a pair of scissors, each blade is a lever. A fulcrum is the point where the two blades connect. A gene, G is for gene. A gene is a part of DNA and is a unit of heredity. Children get their genes from their biological parents, but they are not copies of their parents because the genes change a little bit. This change is called mutation. H is for hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table. Hydrogen's atomic number is one. This means it has one proton in its nucleus. It is the most abundant element in the universe. I is for igneous. Igneous rock is cooled magna or lava. When a volcano erupts, the hot lava eventually cools and hardens. This makes new igneous rock. There are hundreds of different kinds of igneous rocks like granite and obsidian. J is for jet. A jet is a stream of fluid of air that has been forced through a nozzle. This is what makes the garden hose work in an, and in an airplane fly. In an airplane engine, air is pushed through a nozzle to make it go faster than when it went in. It gives the plane more thrust. K is for kinetic. Kinetic energy is the energy of a moving thing. Something that is not moving has energy called potential energy. The two kinds of energy can be changed into each other, as in a swing. L is for light. Light is the part of the spectrum that is visible to human eyes. Wi-Fi, radio, x-rays, and many other things are part of the spectrum, but invisible to us. 
Light travels as particles called protons. M is for mitosis. Mitosis is the division of one cell nucleus into two by copying DNA. After mitosis, the entire cell can split into two, so the body can grow new cells or replace old cells. N is for nebula. A nebula is a large cloud of dust and gas in space. A nebula is the birthplace of stars. A nebula can also be created when a star explodes, an event called a supernova. O is for ozone. Ozone is a molecule made of three oxygen atoms. Its chemical formula is O3. The ozone layer is a thin protective barrier in the Earth's atmosphere that helps block harmful UV light from the sun. P is for proton. Protons carry one unit of positive electric charge. Protons and neutrons make up the nucleus of an atom. Protons and neutrons are made of three subatomic particles called quarks. Q is for quark. Quarks are subatomic particles. Quarks make a part of the standard model of particle physics. There are six different kinds of quarks up, down, top, bottom, strange, and charm. R is for radiation. Radiation is light released by all things. The color of the radiated light depends on its temperature. Even people are radiating. But the color of light radiated by people is infrared, and so we cannot see it. S is for Sun. The Sun is the closest star to the planet Earth. The Sun is made mostly of hydrogen, and its radiation is the source of all energy on Earth. The sun is often drawn yellow, but its light contains all the colors mixed into white. T is for theory. Science is a collection of explanations of nature. Each explanation is called a theory, which scientists use to make predictions that can be tested with experiments. The best theories are the ones that pass the most tests. U is for ultraviolet. Ultraviolet light is not visible to humans. Ultraviolet or UV light is high energy light. It has a higher frequency than blue and violet light. UV light from the sun can burn your skin, so be safe. V is for vaccine. Vaccines stop the spread of disease. Some vaccines are weakened versions of a virus or disease to help your body to create immunities. If you catch the actual virus, your body will be ready to fight it if you fight it if you have been vaccinated. W is for wave. A wave is something that transfers energy from one source to another. There are many kinds of waves. Sound is a wave that transfers energy from the source of the noise to a person's eardrum. The energy vibrates the eardrum to create sound. X for is, is for xylem. The xylem is part of a plant that moves water from the roots to the leaves. Xylem cells are arranged in long tubes in the stem of the plant. They soak up water like a sponge. I is for Yota. Yota is a decimal prefix like Kilo. Yota is the largest prefix in the metric system. It means one million, 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 million. For example, the Earth weighs about six Yotagrams.
Z is for zygote. A zygote is the first stage of development in living things. A zygote contains DNA from both parents. It is ready for mitosis to make a new individual. Thank you for watching.